Hello there, my name is Anthony Barocas with Frisco Studios. And today I wanna to talk to you a little bit about online previewing and reviewing client videos with Frame.io. Now, let's just say you're working on a project that has lots of individual videos. You as a producer, you have an editor working on them, or you're working on them and you, have, and you have different clients that need to review them. The easiest way to do this is using an online tool. One of these is Frame.io. It is an online service where you upload your videos to their hosting service. They have a platform where you can use, view, review, comment, annotate, make arrows, draw on boxes, and all of these comments and reactions are linked to the time at which you stop the video. Now, this is particularly useful if you're working on videos with multiple people. For this project behind me, I have an editor. I'm the executive producer, but I have an editor who's actually doing all the down and dirty stuff, and I have a client, so I am in between two different people. The way we've set it up is I have the editor do a first pass, then they put it in one project where it's just me and the editor. I review, I make comments up to my specifications as to make this come out earlier, bring this in earlier, don't do this thing together, what's this thing over here, what about that, different things like that. Then the editor does another pass. This way I, I feel it's up to my specifications before I give it to the client and the client gets to see something where there's no mistakes that the editor's gone through, that I've gone through, at least there's four pairs of eyes on it already. Or you can have other people in your own facility. You can have a bunch of eyes before the client takes a look at it. Then I have a second project whereby it's me and the client, and the client can then make reviews and comments on each video as it's uploaded. Now, the advantage to doing that is that internal communication is separate from communication with the client because there might be something where me and the editor are discussing something. I, you know, it's like I, you know, I am deferring to my editor, but I also have my own opinions. But at the same time, I want to be the key person that my client deals with. I don't want my client dealing directly with the editor and going around me. So, you know, it avoids too many cooks spoiling the broth. So I, let's do a quick walkthrough of uh, Frame.io. I'm gonna show you on this monitor right here with my phone. And that way I can show you some of the advantages and some of the challenges that I've seen with this online tool. And first, let me give a little bit of disclosure. Uh, Frame.io has not paid me to do this. Uh, I have not received a free subscription to it. I'm actually using it on a project and because I find it useful and I find the features that it offers, to be beneficial and useful, I am doing a review and going over the features so that other people can see it. But it's not a normal review where uh, I may get a uh, free preview or a loaner, as they say, and then have to return it at the end. I'm actually a paying user of the Frame.io product at this point. Here you can see this is my project, and this is the two projects I have going on at this one time. This one is just for the editor and myself, and this one is for the client. Here in this one, you can see I have all these videos posted. And then you can easily see which ones I have approved that, you know, these are ready to pass on to the client and everything else has comments. So let's click on one of these. You can quickly scrub through here and see, oh, is this the one where, yeah, okay, that's the one with the head. Now I'll click here and it'll open up in its own window. And over here on the right, you can see various comments that I've made. You can see where those comments are made along this timeline on the bottom. And it's got my little profile picture to show that I made them. So this way, if you have multiple people commenting, then you can see the other person's face. You know, what did Bob say? What did Janet say? What did Bill say? And then over here, you can quickly go to the next comment. So there's the next comment. There's the next comment. There's the next comment. And you 
you can go back through them as well. So these are very good. And obviously, I don't just make comp uh, you know, I really like the way the background color flows up through the head. So that was one of the things that I had told to Ted, my editor, because you know I don't want it to be just about uh, bad news. But then rather here, rather than slide it away, it can stay there and fade out right before we get to the next shot. So I have different comments about different things. Up here in the corner, I can approve. I can say it's in progress, or I can say it needs review. Um, I didn't use the needs review as much as I could have because uh, Ted received all of my comments, so he knows that anything that's not approved needs review. Up here, you can click on up here, and it'll show you all the different videos to go through. All right, and in this video, I saw a little glitch right here that I was able to draw on and point to because there are markup tools. So if you come down here, which is where I can leave a comment, I can just type what I want, and then I come over here to write, I click on the little drawing tool. I can draw with a paintbrush, I can draw a line, I can make an arrow or circle something with a box. And I could do it in red, orange, teal, greenish teal, and a bluish color. And these are all tagged to this comment at this time. So <clears throat> when I go to this comment, I says, is this effect residue in the movie or is it a preview? And then the editor says, yeah, but it's only in the preview. Um, so that way I'm not concerned about that little artifact because my editor looked at the original file and was able to tell me, yeah, don't worry about that. It's just something in the upload or in this preview version that I'm looking at on my screen. It doesn't really exist in the actual file. Another good feature that you have here is the client is going to be looking at videos and if they click on these three dots, they can share them with their own people inside of their office. They can download when they are made ready to go. Um, you can publish them, publish the Dropbox, and delete them. This app also gives you the ability, let me just click into this one. Up here, you have version one, and then you can click on it, there's no versions. You can actually upload multiple versions of the same video to look at them side by side if you have a question with regards to grading or timing, all right, here is a quick look at the versioning. So this is the first version that I reviewed, has comments, has six comments. Here's the second version. But I want to look at them side by side. So I can take this version and I drag it over here and then I can put them together. Now it shows that there are two versions of this. When I click on this, It looks like the same thing, but up here I can compare the versions and it will actually put them side by side so that I could see what the changes were in between the first version and the second version, which is a very handy tool. The downside to versioning is, you know, you can listen to one at a time, but you can't read the comments from the first version and you can't make comments on the second version. So when this animation changed, I wanted to say that was perfect, I loved it, but I can't see, I can't make comments on the new version. And at the same time, I have to remember what I said about the first vision, version because I can't see the comments as they come up or I can't even see marks about where different things were. So if I move this cursor back, and hit play, you will see that the animation changed. Here, I did not like that it started halfway through that. Now it comes on and then the bottom part wipes. I like this a lot better. I wanted to have this complete. But I don't want to have to constantly toggle in and out of this tool to be able to make comments on the second ver version. So I have the Ted and Anthony project and then I have the Wick Health project which is the one where that faces my cust my client and there are only two videos here that these are the two that I had approved and then my editor just merely uploaded them to this project 
and then as he finishes the edits in the previous one and I approve others, they will appear here as well. Here you can see that there's, well, obviously me, my editor, and the client are all included in this project. Now you could have multiple levels of people. Here you can see there are different levels, starter, professional, team, and business. Now, starter, you get 10 gigabytes of storage for three projects with 10 collaborators. For the project that I'm doing, 10 gigabytes was nowhere near enough. Professional is a little bit more, 50 gigabytes of storage, unlimited projects, so I can have multiple things going on, and 25 collaborators. $50 a month gives you 100, doubles your storage, 100 gigabytes, unlimited projects, 50 collaborators, five team members, which basically means now you can have five different people creating projects and deleting files and managing the media on here, whereas collaborators can't do that. Collaborators can upload media, but they can't create projects. They can't uh, manage other people. When you have five team members, that means you can delegate those duties. You still have authority and other people have authority as well. $150 a month, you have 15 team members. So this is, you've got a lot of stuff going on here. And down here they have enterprise plans as well. This is the monthly price. And then over here, you could also switch from monthly to yearly. And then the prices come down a little bit a month off of this. So like the $15 a month, it goes to $13 a month, 25, I don't know, it goes to $21 a month. But if you need it on a month by month basis, like I have this one big project that I'm gonna be dealing with for a month or two, you don't need to pay for a full year. You can go month by month with this, pro with this tool. This is the dashboard. And in here, this is where you would create users and teams. Obviously, I am the main user, and because I don't have any team members, there's nobody else listed here, but everyone else I have working on this is a collaborator. They don't have what I would think would be a fourth level, so that you would have the owner, a team member, a collaborator, which would be my people who are editing and need to upload data, and then just a reviewer, which would be the client, where they would just be able to watch and comment on it not do anything else. I, I would figure they would have four levels, but they only have three. Another key thing to note is that Frame.io offers integrations with various apps in that not only can you look at it on your phone, but Final Cut Pro X, Premiere Pro, and After Effects, the comments can be loaded directly into the timeline so that while you're editing, you can see the various notes as opposed to jumping between a web interface with the comments and then going into your app. That's very handy. Uh, my editor is using DaVinci, so this integration does not help him, but you know it's not an unsurmountable problem to go at one minute, this is what I see, and, ha and he affects a change to it. Another really handy feature is if you were an editor or edited on a computer, the Frame.io interface works just like you know, you use the space bar to start and stop, and you can use the JKL keys to go back and forth across video, meaning that if you are an editor, it actually, this online interface actually works very familiar to how you would expect a video interface to work. All right, as you can see here, as my editor's uploaded content, Frame.io sends me an email notification even if my editor is clearly working through the night. This way I come in in the morning, I can see everything that's been done, everything that's going on, just by looking at my email. I don't have to hunt it down on the Frame.io interface. So that's been my look at Frame.io and how you can leverage the tools in Frame.io to smoothly manage projects, especially projects with lots of clips that you have to have reviewed, commented on, feedback to the editor, changes made, multiple versions. This video was 29, or this project was 29 videos and countless versions of each one because I might have one or two versions and then the client would have one or two versions of 29 different videos. So that's a lot of material to manage. And I have to say over the course of two months now that I have been using it, I'm, this is sort of a late follow-up and conclusion. Over the course of two months, I have to say it has proven itself to be a very worthwhile tool in the arsenal for managing your project, 
for getting material out in front of your client. And if you are a little wary about your client, you can actually set it so that they can't download media. And then when you can release the inform release the media, like after they pay, then you can toggle a little checkbox and then they can download the media directly from Frame.io and you don't have to upload new content uh, for a third time. So that's a really nice last little feature to send the client on their way saying, now you can go get all your content right off of Frame.io, just download the video and they're gonna download not the preview version that you're watching on the screen, but the actual file that you uploaded. So if you have high resolution files that you're pushing, that is the file that they are downloading when they say download file. With that, this has been Anthony Barocas for Frisco Studios with my review of Frame.io. Thanks for watching.